Hey, Locha. Hey, you didn't finish telling us about the propagation. Keep going. It's interesting. So, neons can die, huh? Weird. I thought they were invincible. <laughs> there is no true invincibility or immortality in the world. Such exaggerations are born of the perspectives of ordinary beings. Nonetheless, ordinary beings could not have orchestrated the fall of the propagation. That eon was slain at the hands of another eon. I don't understand. They're all eons. Why do they want to fight? You... Are you really from the Xianzhou? Other eons aside, surely you must know the story of Lan and Yaosha. Isn't destroying the Eon Yaosha the Alliance's cherished aim? Of course I know. Well, I, I know a little. My mom made me practice with swords all day. I, I didn't really go to school. In that case, let's just change the subject. If you don't know about the feud between the hunt and the abundance, I'm afraid there's just too much to explain. Fine. How's this for a subject? What's in the box? Oh, this one? <laughs> it's a casket, more commonly known as a coffin. It's for containing the remains of the deceased. The deceased? Aren't you a merchant? Yes, indeed. This is just part of my job. I was asked to deliver this coffin to the Xianzhou. Ah, uh, I'd quite forgotten. For long life species, death is probably a distant concept. Nope. The Cloud Knights spend a lot of time on the battlefield. Death is a common occurrence. It's just, we don't put bodies in boxes. Uh, coffins. In the Sienjo, people go to the Hall of Karma in the Ten Lords Commission and consecrate the names and jade abacuses of the dead. That's our way of saying goodbye. The Foxians and the Vidyodora have their own ceremonies. Foxian soldiers place their dead in star's gifts and then let them drift out into the stars. They call it the Returning. As for the Vidyodora, they're... more mysterious. They say that when a Vidyodora is very old or has a fatal injury, they turn into an egg that looks like a pearl. And when the shell breaks, they come out looking young again. My mom calls the Vidyodora Long Scions. When I was young, she told me stories of how the Vidyodora could turn into dragons. I don't know if that's true. What do you know? Silent but deadly speaks. Your mother is right. The Vidyodora are long scions. They are descendants of the Eon of Permanence. That was why some, but not all, could turn into dragons. The power was a rare inheritance, passed down only to those who could successfully complete numerous rites and challenges. For the inheritor, it was hard to say whether it was a blessing or a curse. Ah, I've heard the story of Long the Permanence and their descendants. Many myths and legends praise the Eon for a rich and immortal life. But for some reason, the Eon disappeared among the stars without a trace. Almost as if they had never existed, leaving only their descendants. Every life has its limit. Even the eons are not truly immortal, and will eventually reach the end of their lives. Uh, let me ask you one more question. Do you know the person in the coffin? <laughs> yes. 
friend? No. So, uh... The sweetheart? <laughs> oh, miss, whatever gave you that impression? The individual in the coffin is neither friend nor relative. We met only once. By chance, I made someone a promise, and so I have to run this errand. Let's leave it at that, shall we? I think we've all had enough rest. What was that? A new crucible for the furnace! Mara struck. It looks like someone's this hurt! Strength in our position. Wait! <laughs> Silent but deadly. Locha, let's charge in together. If we take them out quickly, we can rescue the girl. <laughs> what happened to us letting you handle it? I've only got two hands. Please, I'll wangle you a prize for your bravery or something when it's all over. Enough. Let's go. see any blood, so I, I thought you were okay. You're a puppet. My motor is broken. I can't move. Are you a cloud knight? Good. Take me to the Realm Keeping Commission. I, uh... Locha, silent but deadly. I'm afraid we have to delay things again. This lady is one of the judges of the Ten Lords Commission. As a Cloud Knight, I must prioritize her orders. I'm sorry. If I'd known, I wouldn't have got you to come with me. You'd probably be there by now if you'd gone by yourself. I happen to have some medical knowledge. Perhaps I can treat the young lady's injuries? Well, it's just... She's a puppet. I think we should just take her to the Realm Keeping Commission. Don't worry, Miss Sushang. Leave it to me. You might get an aching or numbing sensation, but it shouldn't be too painful. Do you think you can hold still? It won't work. My body is mechanical, not flesh and blood. Be it mechanical or organic, we're still dealing with composite substances. I just hope you'll tolerate my methods. Huh. Curious. How... What kind of medical knowledge is this? Abundance. Hmm. Very good. We, uh, no longer need to return to the Realm Keeping Commission. The mission continues. As a judge in the employ of the Ten Lords Commission, I am forbidden from interfering in the affairs of outsiders. However, seeing as you came to my aid, a word of advice. Leave as soon as possible. I came to address the root of our crisis by arresting a fugitive, a Stellaron hunter. 
This villain possesses exceptional swordsmanship and wields a divine weapon. They are extremely dangerous. <laughs> if it hadn't been for a strange accident, my wake span might have been cut short. Strange... accident? <sighs> Come with me. I've never seen anything like it.